Hi everybody, so now that we have pretty much finished the painting of the apple, we're going to look at um, finishing it up with uh, a shadow and maybe just a simple background. Okay, so first of all, uh, I have a few layers here that I don't really need anymore. I'm going to get rid of the small apple. Uh, well, before I do, I'm just going to turn that on because I'm going to eye drop the shadow down there. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the um, palette here. We don't need that. See if you, you can see you can't actually delete it until you unlock it first. Um, I don't need the trace. I'll unlock that first. I'm going to keep the apple. Just uh, I'm going to show you something. That's the original picture. So one thing you can do, and especially if it's your photograph, this one happens to not be mine. So I wouldn't do this. But uh, look what you can do. You can actually blend your paint with the original image. So I have uh, the paint layer here, the apple picture, which is turned on, you can see. And I'm going to select that paint layer, and I'm going to look at my blend modes. And you can see I can kind of get a um, kind of happy medium between the two and have kind of like a digital painting that's semi-transparent with the apple, right? So uh, this is just another option for you. Uh, if you're painting, I'm not going to do it. As I said, it's really not my photograph. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to trash it. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, the great thing about digital painting is you can fix anything you want. So um, let's say, you know, a little part over here. Maybe I don't like the way it kind of dips down, these two parts here. I could take my um, filter liquify tool, filter and liquify, and zoom in here. <clears throat> and I can lower my brush size down and I can kind of I can push that and try to fix up that edge so um, this is the wonderful thing about digital paint it's like anything could be fixed <laughs> like that so I'm gonna say okay I'll zoom out and I could also change the colors let's say I just didn't get bold enough I feel like my brights could be a little brighter maybe I can go to image adjustments and I can adjust anything in this and maybe I'll go to my curves here and this is a great way of boosting up your highlights and bringing down and adding some contrast with this curve here you can see what it used to look like right so maybe I'll go with that and I'll say okay um, so now it's time to make the shadow and I always paint this on a separate layer so let's get a new layer here I'm going to pull it below the um, apple, and uh, I'm going to take my brush, with the same brush I've been using, and um, let me just get a tablet. Okay, I hope you fast forward that part for me getting a tablet. I forgot all about that. Okay, so now that I have my tablet, I'm going to begin to paint the shadow. And I'm going to look for kind of a dark in here, kind of a dark gray. And I'm going to just paint across. And um, what's great is, you know, it's going to be dark. The darkest part of this is going to be right by the apple. And I'm just going to kind of paint around here. And I'm going to eye drop the white and maybe just kind of try to blend this in. Okay. And you'll see what, what's really good about this um, technique here. We could fix anything. So, all right. So, just kind of hacking away at that. And you might say, well, it looks a little bit too wide. But... If I go, because it's on a separate layer, I'm going to go Command-T. Command-T will enable me to uh, hold Shift as I scale so it's unproportional. And you can kind of see I'm kind of making it a little bit flatter. So now it kind of appears like it's on a, a surface. 
So Command T can transform a selection that's on my, my layer here, and I'm able to pinch it a bit. Now, if you're in Photopea, I think you don't hold Shift uh, while you do that. All right, so now that I have that, I can use my arrow keys while I'm on my, my Move tool to nudge. That's called nudging if I just need to move it a little bit. Okay. The background, I'm going to um, make a new layer. I'll put it below everything. And I'm going to just choose a color here. This doesn't have to be um, too detailed, obviously. We're just going to, I'm just going to grab a big, big brush here. And I'm going to do this. I'm just going to fill in, get rid of the white a bit. I like seeing the brush stroke. Now, this apple, I don't want this small apple. I'm going to unlock that layer and trash it. Okay. Good. I could also eye drop. See, I'm making other colors here, some lighter tones. I could kind of grab that. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's definitely um, white on that shadow. Now, look at that. I just painted on the wrong layer. So be sure you're painting on the, the background on the correct layer. You don't want to make that mistake. Okay, then that means lock up anything you're not using. I'm going to do that again. So I want some of that light up here. Right. And you'll see there's there's some white mixed in with the shadow that we're going to fix. We're going to fix that up later in a second. Okay, so now that I have my background here, let's fix this. And that's because I was eye dropping the background white to try to blend that texture of that shadow. So I'm going to get onto the shadow layer and I'm just going to call it shadow. And might as well name these. Okay, so there it is. The shadow layer I'm on. I'm going to lock up the background. I'm not using it. Here's the shadow layer. We're going to use a blend mode. And I'm going to blend this. So you can see uh, multiply gets rid of the white. Any of, the, any of these would get rid of white. I could try some others. These get rid of darks. This is a mix in between. So that's not going to work. It's going to be up in here. And I'm going to be going with multiply. All right. And I could take both of these layers, unlock them, and possibly move this down, move this around. And that's it. Okay. And that's how we'll finish this up. So good luck and give it a try.